Welcome to LEAD 712 Creativity Class with the, the D4 Wave. Today we have Lily Pakajak, myself, Elizabeth Villalobos, Twyla Maldonado, and Demetrius Robinson. Today I want to share with you, or I want to talk to you about the different designs, about the different buildings here at River Park. And first and foremost, I want to talk about the stores that we have here. Although we have an abundance of stores, you, want to, you can pan out the stores. <laughs> Although we have an abundance of stores, we feel that it would be much more better if we had the name brand stores on the outside of the buildings where traffic can see the name brands and that way it can probably attract um, customers and uh, maybe vendors as well. Aside from this design, we thought it'd be best if we had the buildings in clusters. Clusters meaning we have a children's department in clusters, we have a men's department in clusters, and we have a women's department in clusters. And also the different designs may attract um, customers as well. Hi, I'm Twyla Maldonado, and to tag on to Lily's um, ideas about redesigning the River Park and, and putting the stores into clusters, if we could do a couple of extra little things like take this fountain over here, very pretty. But if you could, if you had your stores aligned in different clusters, and then let's say in the children's area clusters, have an area similar to this that the stores would be surrounding, have some benches and some little uh, areas with little tables where people could sit down and rest, and then have a nice fountain like this one, only perhaps have it more interesting for children that would pop up and down. Or in that one or some of the others, you could have fish in there and they could sit and watch the fish. And it could be a play and educational for the kids to enjoy in addition to doing the parents doing the shopping. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Villalobos, also part of D4. Um, as we mentioned, we're recreating River Park. Lily had earlier stated that putting the stores on the outside would draw more would draw more customers so therefore putting the stores on the outside widening this area to provide for more street fair like activity again drawing in families um, for daily activities daily events Twyla also mentioned uh, adding benches it would be a great idea to add additional lighting not only in this area but in other parts of the parts of River Park so widening this area for street fair use and then on the outside adding an amphitheater so we're here at the children's play area. Part of our redesign would be expanding the area, not only to include more environmentally safe games for or games for children, but also widen and expand the area for parents to also enjoy. Hi, my name is Demetrius Robinson. Uh, I am also a member of D4 Design, and here we are focusing on transportation and public safety and we envision uh, moving the parking to underground to create more space for actual uh, community and family setting. And actually what we want to do we want to bring the light rail or shuttle train on the outskirts of River Park and actually have the parking underground and the overflow lot on the other side of the freeway to actually help us uh, maintain uh, traffic control and also we want to also include uh, public safety or per se uh, a subdivision for the police department fire department to actually have an office of underground and one over in our overflow in case of emergency to help us deal with the traffic as we redesign the transportation and public safety for river park and also we, we envision bringing in an elevator that's kind of like the shuttle that NASA used to bring the, uh, the, the coal mine workers out of the tunnel. So we also envision a glass see-through uh, elevator and a trolley buses to come in to actually bring people into the port. That's, that's 
64 and these are our ideas for recreating for redesigning River Park.